Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, I would just seek to put this in some kind of perspective. Ever since mankind took up arms against his fellow human beings, there has always been an offensive weapon met with some type of de defensive weapon. The spear brought the shield, uh, the artillery brought the armed battle tank, and now we face the world's most dangerous weapons in the history of mankind in the form of intercontinental ballistic missiles armed with nuclear warheads that in, an, in a blinding flash could kill hundreds of thousands of people in a city or over our uh, nation's continent. Uh, an exoatmospheric blast could perhaps uh, over time through uh, destroying our electric infrastructure kill tens of millions of people. And the only system that we have to defend ourselves against that type of weapon is our ground-based mid-course defense system, and this amendment seeks to cut that another $100 million on top of the cuts that the administration has constantly done throughout its tenure. And Madam Chair, I would just suggest to you that that is the height of irresponsibility. The fact is, when two airplanes hit two buildings, it costs this economy $2 trillion. This is not the way to have priorities for budget. Our primary duty in this body is to make sure that we protect the lives and the constitutional rights of Americans, and we must protect our ability to stop intercontinental nuclear-armed missiles. This is the only system that we have to do it. Vote down this amendment, and I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. The question is on the amendment.